Have you ever wondered whether AI and robots will kill us all? I feel like we all have. I was listening to this podcast um, on the Joe Rogan with Dr. Ben Gertzel. That dude is a fucking weird creature. But I guess we need these kind of people. Um, but um, that made me think about, I mean, if you look at that guy and let's, let's look at that guy. Let, we need a close, close up. That guy, <laughs> like, he just looks like someone who, and I'm not trying to be um, offensive in any way, but he's like a nerd. Like, he's the definition of a true nerd. Like, he has a company which is called SingularityNet, which focuses on basically being a marketplace for AI systems to communicate with each other and send out transaction. He is a scientist, he does research on AI, blockchain, um, you know, all of that cryptocurrency stuff he's involved in, mostly to supplement the AI, because blockchain makes a lot of sense as the infrastructure to run AI across. Um, but that just made me think that I, if I would choose right now to say like, okay, AI and developing AI is the most impactful thing I can do, or is the most impactful thing you in general can do, I would never be able to compete with that guy. He is made to do that. He's not necessarily born to do that, but he started reading when he was two years old. His grandfather was a physicist, so he started reading physics books when he was five years old. So it's not like it's in his, in his genes, but he was just conditioned from when he was two years old to be fascinated, fascinated by this kind of shit, that it's completely impossible to now catch up to him and say like, you know what, I'm gonna become as obsessed, obsessed and knowledgeable about AI and blockchain and all of that as he is. So it's, it's very interesting to think about how you were conditioned as a, you know, as a child and what are the things that you can adapt and define yourself to become the person that you think you have to become. And what are the things where you might be able to become better at, but when it comes to really cutting edge and having a, an impact that goes beyond just what the average person can do, there are just people who, who are just carved out for that, you know? Same with athletes. I feel like some athletes, there's just nothing else where they could have that, that amount of success, what they have with their sports. And then it's more so about, you know, defining how within that, those confines, you can then have that impact. I mean, if you're a very successful, you know, football player, you could say that playing football doesn't necessarily have a big impact on the future of the world, but you can decide to then go ahead and donate a lot of your money, which will be millions on millions of dollars, which will have a massive impact. You will have a very big influence on the next generation because people think you're cool and you're relevant. And so you can shift people's perspective on, you know, matters that, on things that matter like global change or, you know, putting more money into the research for da 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 So, I don't know, it's, it's just, it made me wonder what that thing is for each individual person, what that thing is for me. Like when I look at that guy, I'm like, that's not me. And that's good. Like that's, that's his thing. He's completely obsessed with that. He's brilliant as that. No one should be able to, you know, like these people, we need these people to lead like such cutting edge research on things like AI. But that guy is not made to be on a stage. Like he's a weird creature that will, he will never be, you know, like a public figure that, that people think is cool or something. That's not what he is made for. There are other people. There, there are people like Joe Rogan who are just made for, you know, being out there in the spotlight, interviewing all of these different people and, um, synthesizing all of this information and spreading it into the world because if there wouldn't be creatures like Joe Rogan, like people like you and I wouldn't be able to listen to people like that guy. Anyway, that was just a um, long ramble. It just made me think.
listen to Joe Rogan podcast. He has some fascinating fucking people on there. And especially it's so diverse. Like he has people from all kinds of comedians and actors and scientists and, and entrepreneurs and, and um, <clears throat> all very high level successful people in their specific field. So for me, I listen to it because it just broadens my perspective of listening to all of these experts in their specific field. So check it out if you haven't yet. Yeah. So I just worked out and usually, <clears throat> usually when I work out, I listen to music. And uh, sometimes I listen to like podcasts or audiobooks, but I notice that usually if I'm really concentrating on my workout, <clears throat> I can't really listen to the audiobook, so I listen to music. <clears throat> and just recently I was actually listening to a podcast. It was actually a Joe Rogan podcast with, um, I forgot his name, Hicks, Higgins, Joe Hicks, I don't know, like a Navy SEAL. And basically what they were saying is that um, listening to music while you work out is cheating because um, you're making you're, you're you're making yourself dependent on outside motivation versus in versus, versus internal motivation because like essentially you're using the music to pump you up and motivate you <clears throat> and there's definitely a difference like you lift um, heavier if you're listening to the right music like if you worked out you work out you know that right um, and I think it's interesting to think about it um, as music being cheating because essentially Working out is not only about <clears throat> physically, but also training mentally. And so you want to train your mind to, you know, being able to push yourself without having this external motivation. So I don't know. Um, maybe I start listening to more audiobooks and not the music too, or new music at all. Though that sounds kind of shitty. Yeah, let me know if you think if you think listening to music while working out is cheating. <coughs> yeah, I'm getting so sick, but yeah, I just had a call with um, or I was supposed to have a call with um, some people who run the hedge fund, and um, they're pretty established entrepreneurs with a couple of hundreds of millions of exit money, and um, their assistant actually reached out to me on LinkedIn because they are um, they want to level up their their personal brand right now so um, I me and her assist their assistant kind of figured out a time to talk and that was supposed to be now but um she sent over like an uber conference kind of thing and um, it didn't work for me I, I actually think she sent out she sent over the wrong thing um, but it might have just been me being stupid. Um, so we missed the call. Um, she said that we're gonna reschedule. So I'm very hopeful. I mean, that's just random shit that happens. I think she thought I can just dial in with an American number, which doesn't work because, and she knew that I was traveling. But anyway, so it didn't work. We're gonna reschedule that. Um, but those are like mishaps that can sometimes make or break something like that. And if it does, like that's life, but I hope it doesn't because as I said, these guys are actually big fishes and um, would be pretty amazing if we could get them as clients. And um, yeah, now I actually have a call with direct heroes um, who do direct message messenger marketing on Instagram, which is super interesting because I've never seen any company do that. Um, I mean, there are a lot of email automation tools, there are a lot of LinkedIn automation tools, there are a lot of Facebook automation tools, but Instagram is kind of bitchy, bitchy about the API. So there, are, I haven't seen any tool yet that does Instagram messaging automation. And so I just reached out to them because I want to talk to them. Um, but that will be the last act of the day. It's now 11 p.m. and I should be resting because uh, I'm getting sick. So anyway, I'm gonna um, sign off now. Thank you so much for watching. And then see you tomorrow, peace out. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up. Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate a lot. But why now? Holy shit, I 
just wanna make it 